Hello everybody, it is Nagma and today I have another LEGO Star Wars 2015 set review for you guys. So this set is 75094, the Imperial Shuttle Tidarian. And this is ages 9 through 14. Piece count will be in the description below. Retails at $100, which is $99.99. And it has five minifigures. So this set is amazing. There is no other word. I have um, I have been expecting a small Lego shuttle Tidarium for a small time, and there is still no small shuttle Lego Tidarium. Uh, this one is actually really big. It's bigger than the Republic. Uh, what was? What was it? The Assault Carrier. Yeah. This set is bigger than the Imperial Assault Carrier, which is actually thirty dollars more. It's one hundred and thirty. I have it right next to me and I'll show you guys a little bit about that later. This set is massive and it's not that big but you know it's very tall, uh, it's quite large and the wings go out very far. So without further ado let's get into the minifigs and then we'll check out this shuttle Tidarium. So first up is Chewbacca. Now this minifigure has been appearing in the other droid gunship set, but here's another chance at getting the new Chewbacca. Nice leg print right there. Uh, metallic color crossbow. You can see a bit of his uh, bandolier type of thing right there going on. His hair headpiece. It's it's Chewbacca. There's not much to go on about him. It's nice to see that there is a uh, new versions of him coming out and I think this one is the first time they change him since 1999. So that is Chewbacca, let's move on to the next figure. We here have Han Solo in his Endor outfit. Some nice torso print there, a nice little leg print. The rope kind of goes down the legs, I like that. There is a little bit of back print which is camouflage, camo type of thing. Um, he does come with a regular blaster, which is Han Solo's blaster, and a double-sided face does appear on him. Uh, let's show that. There you go, his mean, angry face when he goes and fights the scout troopers. Next up is Leia. So she does come with her little cookie, as you can see, her blaster. Uh, she does come with this nice little robe type of thing. Here is the underprint and the front print there so yeah I do like this little camouflage coat she has very accurate to the movie uh, that is a nice little touch to Leia um, there's her hair piece which has always been the same for Endor and we can see there her double sided face when she's not so happy but then she meets the Ewok and she's happy so yeah, so that's Leia guys. So an Andor Rebel Trooper is supplied with this set. As you can see he comes with a nice new outfit compared to the old one. I will make a comparison if the time comes. He has a regular blaster which is nice to see around since uh, they've placed those uh, brick type of uh, blasters. This is his back. Uh, the helmet has some new colors but it's the same. So yeah, so that's a look at him. Let's try to get him to see if he has a double side face. I don't think so. No, he doesn't have a double side face. So that's the first Rebel uh, Trooper. So last but not least, uh, here is the uh, uh, another Endor Scout Trooper. He has, uh, or Rebel Scout Trooper. He's got this little tor uh, torso print on the legs and on the torso comes with a regular blaster. Here's a look at him and his helmet and his face. So that's him guys. Uh, he has a beard. That's it. That's him. So onto the set and its fun features. So it would be logic to start off with the cockpit. But first, I do want to mention a big con about this set, and this is something that's been bothering me. I know how to modify this. I need to place a Technic pin, allowing these things to stay in this position. Right. 
in this position for it not to happen. But if you push the landing gear all the way to the bottom and slightly push this set back, it's, it's, it's going to keep on going and falling backwards. And this is something that really bothers me. Uh, I hope uh, I find a little modification. I most likely will, but this is the only con I really see to this set. Otherwise, uh, the cockpit's fine. There's this little weird thing where you can like open it, but it closes back. And it is a pain, but I mean, I easily deal with it. So, here's a look at the inside of the cockpit without the minifigures. So yeah. So there is two seats in a third place where you could place a minifigure, but the idea is a uh, is to place uh, Chewbacca and his crossbow. So I'll hold this set like so. Um, I, I didn't really realize this back going problem when I built this set and when I had it, but now that I'm doing this review and only now am I really realizing this. And I have to say this is very, very irritating. So here are both the figures in their seats. So those those are they, and just close back. So that's the cockpit, really, uh, two, uh, two uh, stickers there, and so on. So, let me show you guys a bit about the wings before we get into the inside of the ship. Nice view of them. So yeah, they're nicely built. And here is a fun feature. So right here we do have our first cannon, it can go up and down. This one right here can have some mobility like so. And now if you go and press on this little bit, you can see there is a spring-loaded shooter right here, so I'll just press on that and they fire all the way. So that's how that works. Um, I don't think I need to go deeper into detail. Uh, nice looking back. There are these back turrets that move, but don't really do anything. I love this back part. Lego did an amazing job capturing the looks and back of this shuttle. And as we will approach, you'll find out that we have the same fun features here, here, and here. Again, if I, sh if I press on this piece right here, it will shoot. So, let me place my camera in a certain angle. Uh, this is a print, uh, this is a sticker. <laughs> so yeah, so you open up like so, and you can do the same on the other side. And this is, uh, I would have liked to have the same system that we do on most shuttles where we open the entire top part, but LEGO decided not to do so, which is, understandable I guess I don't really know so I'll try to get a nice little angle on this uh, try to show you guys the inside uh, there you go it's a little bit better uh, just unlock this and so yeah so right there you can see that there is this piece which is a sticker <laughs> and it's really really nice love it uh, right here you got a little pack type of thing so you can place it's kind of like a weapons rack doors place for two weapons which I'll go ahead and put one like so two weapons and a backpack and as you can see there it just goes and is placed like so if I'll show you here on top you can see there's two seats for two of our troopers and there's a ramp now I can open the ramp like so and I'll show you guys in a second how that works. And I can also place my crate, which is all the way over there. I'll put it... Um, I'll show you guys on the other side. Here we have a uh, missile clipped. You have the same on the other side. Right there. And here you have one more seat, if you can see that. And you have this little crate. Now this little crate, what can I do with this? I can actually take this, push it a little bit back on the ramp, open the ramp, and do a delivery service kind of thing, kind of drop off. 
Now, uh, this little ramp works with minifigures. Right now, the crate's kind of stuck. Uh, this is the first time I do try this. There you go. So, yeah. So, this little ramp comes up and down like so. And it's it works. It doesn't work with minifigures because the minifigures don't fit under the craft when it's landed. And but it's more of a drop off type of thing. So yeah, it's more for cargo. And how does this work? I am pushing this pin up and down, allowing me. Uh, this is separate, but this pin is holding the ramp from falling. So you just play around with it and. You can have fun axes. And here's a look at the ramp. So yeah. So that's the ramp. Well, now let's have a look at this little crate, which is included included inside the set. So um, there isn't too much about this little crate. As you can see, it's uh, I don't really have this piece because I don't really buy Lego City um, or any other types of Lego. But I'm assuming that this isn't a new piece, uh, a rebel sticker. When I open this I find one detonator, another one, and another one. So a few detonators are placed, two of them included in the set, and there are enough extra pieces to build a third one. So yeah, and they are printed, no stickers. So that's a little nice uh, added fun feature right there. I do appreciate that. Thank you, Lego. Um, now, let's try to have a look at the wings. There we go. Excuse me if, if I accidentally go out of the studio. There is really no way. This is just way too big. So yeah. So these are the wings, as you can see. And this is the type of mechanism that, ho that holds it out. So it's not clips or anything, it's this uh, hinge piece type of thing that you can push up. So yeah, so that's how that works. Um, Han Solo, nice little sticker there. I do appreciate stickers, but I have a hard time applying some of them and I think sometimes they are just uh, annoying. But otherwise I do appreciate them if they're nice and easy to apply. So that is it for the shuttle, I guess. I'll show you guys now on a stand the uh, wings widespread and then by myself. So before we continue, I did forget to showcase the landing gear. Sorry about that. Uh, they, it works like so, like any other landing gear would. They are both synchronized and yeah. So if you keep it like so, the set will uh, be pushed to sometimes fall forward and if you put it all the way to the full end, the set will fall backwards. So uh, that that is a big con and that's the only thing I can uh, tell Lego. But I'll make a video about uh, how to customize it. You see, you, you have to place a pin right here, Lego pin. Uh, so that it doesn't uh, go way too far and doesn't fall backwards. So that's how you fix that. So we here have a nice widespread of the wings. If you had this set on a stand, this is how it would look. Uh, <laughs> again, my studio cannot handle these uh, very, very big sets, but this is how big it is on a stand. Uh, definitely something trying to get. If you get this set, definitely go for the stand. It's uh, very, very useful. So this is how it looks on a stand, and I'll show you guys <laughs> me trying to carry it. So we here have the sticker sheet and brick separator included inside this set. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the instruction manual while we're at it. Here it is, let me push it back a bit. There you go. So yeah, so that is the uh, the instruction manual. It's only one, however it's binded now. This is a new 2015 thing they do. They bind them instead of giving you two or three booklets. Just stick them together. And the booklet uh, looks have not changed. As always, your regular pieces, build, minifigures, and so on. So that's the instruction manual. Let's move on now.
So it is now time to show you guys how these wings open up and I'll show you guys at my best ability. This is a very big set. For $100 you're not going to be disappointed. So there you go guys. That's the full set. <laughs> Even like so I cannot. Let me try to go a bit more backwards. There you go. So that's it um, for the wings. So yeah, so that's the set and it flies very well. You have a very good grip on this and fly around. So yeah. So that's a very, very positive thing about this. Um, it works great. So yeah, as final thoughts go, really there's nothing I can really say about this set except that it's um, amazing. <laughs> For $100 you're getting an amazing set which is huge, great minifigures, um, the set is really well built, the, the build is fun, uh, I do think that it, it, can, it kind of gets annoying when you have to do the second wing and you have to do this afterwards. But otherwise, the build is smooth, it's fun, you flow with it, um, no problem there. And overall, just if you don't get this set while it's out, it's, you're missing something, you're missing an opportunity. It's a classic set from Return of the Jedi, so yeah. So the box, how could we miss the box? I do think the box kind of decreases the looks of the set, not from the back, but from the front. I do think this is not the best angle that LEGO could have given us. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about the box. All minifigures are new except for Chewbacca, considering you haven't bought the droid gunship, all minifigures are new. Here's the back of the box. Some little action scenes up there. The features, uh, shooting the missiles, opening the cockpit, wings opening. Uh, the interior and pretty much landing gear, ramp. So there is so much to explore around this ship and that's something really cool about it. Now, that's all I have to say about this set, guys. Definitely a great build, great uh, money investment if you guys are into investing money. I would suggest buying one or two of these, keeping them uh, sealed and definitely opening one and that's something that I'm gonna insist in uh, do buy one and uh, build it because it's great now is this better than the 2012 edition or uh, 2010 2011 I, I don't know the UCS one is it better than the UCS one in my opinion it is because you have a better you, you have access to uh, these guns you have access to the cockpit you have access to the inside uh, when the other one you could only open the cockpit. Now of course the other model is much more better looking but this one has so much more play value and it fits in your shelf. It's uh, For me it's, simple. it's more simple to have this one but I do think the UCS one is great. That's where I want to end off this video. This is a great set. Go and buy it if you have the money. If you don't, do save up. Thanks for watching guys. This has been a review on the Magnus Heroes channel and I'll see you guys next time here on the Magnus Heroes channel.